Nordstrom along with uh, Drain Weed ha Reed had the front windows knocked out. Best Buy is completely boarded up. Who knows what they got away with in there to last night. Across the street is Walgreens. That's also been shut it up, sh closed up, excuse me. Looks like down the way, Walgreens seems to be untouched. The hospitals haven't been bothered. There's a strong police presence everywhere. And I am going to cross over a bit and tell you what's going on on the other side of the street. Also, strangely enough, Citibank hasn't been bothered. Let me get you a, a, a video of that. Hold on. Side B. Drain Reed. And they seem to be untouched inside. So they didn't... It appears that they just broke the windows. But they haven't done any damage inside. No bleeding. Have some street merchants. Selling all sorts of things. But getting back to my original point is the Citibank building that hasn't been bothered. Uh, very strange that they didn't pick Citibank to knock out the windows at all. Okay, let's see. Capital One has been, well, Capital One has had one of the windows knocked out along the side on Broadway. lot of wind. Max Brenner hasn't been bothered or any other place down, down the block. Okay, I'm over here on, uh, oh, I forgot where I'm at, but most importantly, the corner Reebok store has been knocked out. Staple uh, is still up and running. The windows are gone. The Vans shoe store has been knocked out the windows and there's, a, again, an enormous amount of uh, police officers everywhere. Let me see what happened. Oh, God. I'll be... I'm going to go over to Union Square West in just a moment. Starbucks hasn't been bothered at all, nor has Joe's Coffee or the Chase Manhattan Bank. The Blue Water Grill Cafe well, it used to be the Blue Water Grill Cafe. They didn't attack. They didn't attack that building yet. Still people around. Not that many. They're in the park. Relaxing. Barnes and Noble has been. windows has been destroyed. I wonder how far the looters got into it. McDonald's hasn't been attacked at all. Paragon's Sporting Goods Company. Windows are knocked out. As you can see, yourself even the little bodega across the street has had the windows knocked out
I'm over here reporting from the crowd. People are raising their voices. There are thousands of people here. Thousands. Thousands. I can't even tell you how far it goes. Let's take a look. All the way down. At least a couple of blocks. Far, they seem to be very peaceful. But it's a powder keg of emotions here. Tensions are running high. People appear to be angry and not very happy with the situation. It's uh, very scary to watch this go on. Just outside the Mibi transforming furniture and you can see what you see. Can't say anything without uh, angering the powers that be at YouTube. And then across the street, they're tagging uh, these these stores for one reason or the other. FTP, you can figure that one out. Sandra and NYPD, KFTP and Gay Power. Still some protesters lingering on. All the city buses seem to be held in stop position about a half a block away.
About two and a half months ago, when this first started, I came down to Union Square and I found this store, Sephora, all boarded up. And I thought that was kind of strange, but it left me with a very bad feeling. At the time, Barnes & Noble was uh, still operating and I spoke to an off-duty police officer and I asked her about it and she told me that uh, if they're doing that, they're anticipating riots. And little did I know, she was 100% right. The riots came to fruition and now we're here in June 3rd and Things are not any better, if not worse. Even the governor is thinking about getting rid of the mayor. He's handled things poorly. Well, there you have it, folks. This is Dave uh, talking to you, reporting to you from Union Square during the corona pandemic of 2020 and the riots and protests. Signing off for today, wishing you and yours all the best. If you like my content, please subscribe. And if you like even more, give it a nice thumbs up. This is David Gusta signing out. Vlog over from Union Square. <laughs>